inside the second entrant to next week's NFC title game. And we got a great one in store as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round. We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. the ground it's swift to start the drive and he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line now that was an excellent run and when you see that happen that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more offensive linemen and tight ends they're expected to block but the wide receivers all they want to do is catch passes so when they block on a big time running play and create extra space you've got to hit the jackpot there now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Didn't get it by much, but bottom line, got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Let me three. Let me three. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted. The running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Well, that's good for a first down. There's a guy who went over 1,000 yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs. And that one in. And I think the ball's out. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that, that's practice. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift taking it in from 11 yards. 
Collins out. And the Eagles are on the board first here in this division round matchup. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 20. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Looking to throw on second down. Fields. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time. But it's going to lead to third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense... He's got a man complete! A huge play there for Chicago. 45 yards. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And now off to the races. Down the right side. Touchdown, Chicago. Nick Chubb. 36 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Santos with the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 43 yards on the ground here for Harris. It's a first down. And when you get into the divisional round of the playoffs, this is where having the ability to run the football is such an advantage. The defenses, they're generally going to be tougher the further you go along. So if you can get something established up front, it's going to give you a great chance to move on. Hey, let's go. But first down, Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Second down and three. 63, 60. On the option to give the Swift here. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Throwing his hurts. 
And that one going to come up short. Low throw. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here. And you have them staring at a third and long. And that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. On second down, Swift. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 57 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Close Watkins. 35 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained. There he goes, right side. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. I don't care what the game plan was coming in. After these runs, you're running it, right? <laughs> you, you, you make sure you keep circling on your play sheet, running plays that are working, and keep patting those big offensive linemen on the back. They're doing a great job. It goes without saying, the defense is going to have to adjust to it in a big way, and they've got to figure out: do they have to sell out to stop the run, or can they just do it better than what they've done so far? Fields now to throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll leave him with a third and two. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. A play fake, now fields to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he wisely will throw that one away. And their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. But it looked like he marched to the end zone. He's had a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw. Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Bears! Cole Komet, 28 yards. And the Bears are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Now the point after try for Santos. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Yeah. Hi, boys. 
Santos to kick off for Chicago. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. Pretty entertaining start. 14 all the score on EA Sports. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park, and I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it, let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him, and they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown! Philadelphia! DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Elliott Goodell on the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. Here we go. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying hey, this hey, to hey. see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? The end result, 21 yards. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. They'll send the tight end in motion. Off play action. Fields. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't get in. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Now a second and ten. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And tough going there as they'll only get it up to about the 31. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Throwing on third down. Fields. As he throws there incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, Chicago brings out Trenton Gill. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Here's Allen. Footwork. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
Now, last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Now second and nine. Here's Hurts to throw. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. From the gun, here's Swift. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Hurt sets up to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 35-yard line. That's good. One Eagles. Swift going to try up the middle. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more of a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense, and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. 170 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. They go play action with Hurts. This will be caught at about the five. Three yards is the game that time. Second and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Swift. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. A big one coming in this divisional round playoff, third and goal. They'll look to throw here, escaping the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. Elliott good with a PAT. And a lead up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. 
throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They go with Chubb on second down. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Here's Fields. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 44-yard line. Now Fields. Flushed out right. That is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and ten. Fields. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him. Don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it third and ten. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Fields throwing again. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he bats it away. And he falls down and could be. Boy, that ball's just hanging up there waiting to be intercepted. That won't do it from the start. But they took the deep shot anyway, and fortunately, it winds up incomplete. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. Well, Charles, the NFL record is 66 yards. That was five shy of that, but only a handful of guys have ever connected from 61 or deeper, and he can add his name to the list. Yeah, more and more guys are trying it. That doesn't mean the success rate has gone up. That is a long kick. Guaranteed, when he turns on his phone after the game, a ton of congratulatory texts will be awaiting him. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. Scott on the return out of the end zone. 
And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're moving to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to get a little jolt of confidence moving forward. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They run again on first down. Chubb, room here to run. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 139 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Fields changing the play. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. Play action. It's Fields. They'll roll him out right. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. It's a gain of 35. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. And now an audible here into something else. They'll run with Chubb. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Chubb again. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Nick Chubb. His second touchdown of the night. And the Bears are back within a score. For as good as Nick Chubb is in the open field, he's every bit as good when they line him up down near the goal line. He's a speed back between the 20s, but a power back down close. And he forces his way into go, the Bears. end zone. Matt Eberflew is going to keep his offense on the field. They're going for two. Here's Chubb to try to run it in. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. That often runs you into a penalty. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone. And this is going to wind up a safety. The goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who, you don't care how. You just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone. But in this spot, the defense was all over that play and equally motivated to stick them with a safety. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. He'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Here's Fields now on second down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. 
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Second down, here's Hurts. Forced out to his... And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Jervon Dexter... What an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles. Tough spot here. Third and long. Now back to throw. And that will be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. The Bears off X drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look at a couple shorter passes, go a little more mental back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. To throw his fields. He's got the connection to Moore. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. That's impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. From the gun on third down, Fields. Takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The defender sold him in, forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. That'll be a 47 yard punt. Officially five on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Throwing his hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? He's in the space past the 25. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So much for the red on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that's going to be good. Right Eagles touchdown. Close Watkins. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Elliott good on the extra point. And these guys will take a 10 point lead. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And run. 
76 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Chubb. Will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Santos now to add the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Next to score, Eagles 35, Bears 32. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Stopped on the play by Jaquan Brisker. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And that'll be incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Hurts. That is caught. He's going to pick up the first down and then so. And he will be taken down with a good pick up there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. On the handoff, this is Swift. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. If you can keep getting games like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stack box and continue to move the ball? Touchdown, Eagles! Chris Watkins saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Eagles are moving closer to a date now in the NFC Championship game as they're able to extend this fourth quarter lead. Elliott Good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Here we go. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Cut. On play action, they'll throw. Open man completes it to Claypool. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Chubb running right. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 165 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. A play fake, now fields to throw. 
He's got a man on the crossing route. That's Moore. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. First and goal at the three-yard line. They'll give it to Chubb. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Fields going to get this one out on the perimeter. And he is out of bounds here. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I've thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Third and goal. They're going with Chubb. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead on the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. Looking to throw on second down. Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front. The front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Stevenson picks it off, and they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. This game, it's been defensively oriented on both sides, so I guess it stands to reason that the play of the game comes on defense. So it's my kind of game. You know that. That's Anytime right. we have a right. defensive battle, but that, as you said, it stands to reason that's the way the game tilted. Someone had to make a big play, and the way the defenses were dominating, that's exactly what we got. Santos with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Cairo Santos to kick off for Chicago. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. They need to come up with something as they get this drive started. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On second and very short, Hurts. Quick hitter here, it's complete. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Flush to his right. 
They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Eluding the pressure right. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he is brought down but not before reaching the 30. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Great, 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 great. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive. Take a little bit of the wind out of their sails. Kind of settle things down a little bit. Here's a second and seven. Get it, get it. 73. 73. He's back to throw. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dive, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dive? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And this is caught. Touchdown. J. Brown, 27 yards. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter. And they have on the extra point. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. This is first and 10. The drive will start with an option going left. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. They go up the middle with Chubb. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second down. Here's Fields, escaping the pressure right. He's going to let it fly. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I don't know if you need the big shot right there or not, because you've still got time to work some of the shorter stuff and try to get in the field goal range. They did go for the big one there. It would have been nice, but it winds up incomplete. on fields. And that is incomplete. Mm -hmm. One chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Too far for a field goal. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They snap it to Fields. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. 
Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. Well, that puts a little bit of a wrinkle in the comeback bit. Yeah, everything had turned around for them, hadn't it? I mean, things were now going their way. But you did mention it's a wrinkle in their comeback bid. It's not the death knell for them by any stretch, but now they've got some extra work to do in order to climb all the way back. Now a carry for Swift. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And they will take a knee here. So two down, one to go. And this number two seed definitely looking to part. And now they sit one win away from a Super Bowl appearance. Yeah, and I know originally they were disappointed not to get the number one seed and the bye through to the divisional round. But you know what they're saying right now? Let's just keep rolling. We're in a great spot. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead.